And again, the Cronulla back line sweeps into action. Peachy's looking to celebrate his 22nd birthday, and he does it in style. David Peachy scores the try. He's had a great game today, David Peachy. A late replacement for Ben Samet, who was out injured. He's a more than handy player, David Peachy, straight from the scrum. The defence is everywhere. It's all over the place. The cover was there, but too many missed tackles today by the Tigers. 33 in all, and Peachy makes it 34. Matt Ryan. Cut out Ritson, they cut out another. Eddinghausen goes wide. A chance for David Peachy. Oh, it's a good try. He's cut them up. Slice through them. And David Peachy, he gets Cronulla's try. And once again, another well-deserved try by Peachy. He's had a great game. And this has come through some more indiscipline by Brisbane. I don't care how long or how far yet in front by 10, 20, 40. You still got to keep it cool, and they just giving away penalties like they're going out of fashion. And Peachy, too easy for him. Yeah, Alan Langer raced up out of the defensive line, and that meant that they were staggered. And Paul Green read that a, a ball to Eddinghouse, and he got a quick one away. And in the end, Wendell Sale had two men running at him. And Peachy went inside. To get his Brisbane's 40. Pierce. Dummy. Pierce is inside the 20 metre line. Now they hit the right side. Peachy swerves back. Peachy throwing his arms around like a traffic cop. And over! Their inter score is a Blaine Stanley. It yes, is. it is. Priester plays it. Here's Peachy trying to inject himself into this game. Got a good palm. He lopes upfield. He's got loads of space oh! back on the inside. The Dykes, they'll score the Sharks. No doubt about the inside pass. Jason Ferris. For David Peachy to step and beat Campion, and then he beats Berrigan. Goes through an opening. Peachy's inside the 20. They're going for the corner. Here they come up the middle. Adam Dykes. Dykes is over. The Sharks are in again. David Peachy at his brilliant best. I think even David Peachy would admit he hasn't been in the best of form the last month, but I'll tell you what, he's at his top today. This is the Peachy of old. Brilliant running, lovely style of running, and he found plenty of space. And Adam Dykes, a missed tackle in the end there by Lockyer. Referee, that won't find touch. There's another mistake, and this could be costly. Peachy catches the ball 30 metres out from his own line. And with some open space, beats two, got past Allen and Mears. Now away to Sean Ryan, up over halfway goes big Sean Ryan. Just an ankle tap stopped him. Robert Mears now at a dummy half, a creative player. The kick a little too deep that time. And once again, David Peachy with a chance from the back. Gets around his man and Peachy's away. He's 10 metres inside his half, make that five metres inside his own half before Shane Rigon comes up with a tackle. We'll take a comment from the sideline. Andrew, obviously there's a lot of obviously there's a lot of pressure on Adam Ritson as the playmaker for Granola. Is this a break from Peachy? He's away, David Peachy up over the 20. Now only wheelhouse to beat the covers. Good though from Eastern Suburbs. Frank Napoli came up with a tackle. And three or four rucks later, they've converted that into points. And here's Peachy. Look at that for evasive skill. Outside three players, almost Ken Nagus like in his running style. Pretty high tackle there from Wheelhouse. If he stumbles, that makes it easy for the defence. It's the last tackle. Five out from the line. They've got numbers on the left. Clinch with a cutout ball. It has to be a try to the Sharks. David Peachy puts it down. The last pass may have almost been forward, but Cronulla have their second try and they lead by 10 points to nil. It's very good work there on the last tackle, running the football instead of kicking because they knew that to the left they had big numbers. The cutout pass was the key play. Very sparse in defence there, Eastern Suburbs. Would have scored the try himself, but threw the ball to David Peachy, who took a little while to put the ball down. It's just well executed here. They took advantage of, of the numbers they had out wide. Yeah, some outstanding young talent in the Cronulla side. Gavin Clinch, the captain again, saw that the long ball was on. Good vision from him. And an easy try to David Peachy, who's been Cronulla's best player early in this first half. From five out. He comes back now to Brad Williams' tackle. And he's five out. As Trista goes to dummy half. Across to Clinch. They've got numbers here on the left. Dykes to Peachy trying to straighten up the attack. Back to Dykes. It's still four on two out wide. 
Cronulla forward, Graham with a loose pass to Dykes. It goes, and it is Nick Graham who comes up with a try. Of ordinary pass, passes here. Touched by Peachy, the quick hands from Peachy. <laughs> but uh, the Cronulla Sharks, we've mentioned, they won the minor premiership, losing only one game, and that was back in April to Manly at Caltex Field as Peachy goes through. Trying to get away from two. He gets away from a third. Gets away now from Hamish Smith. Stands in the tackle back to Forrester. Cronulla. Ad-lib football now for the Sharks. 20. And down at the centre of it all is Gary Belcher with a winning team, the Cronulla Sharks. Yes, I've got uh, fullback David Peachy here with me. David, obviously, Coach Stuart Rafer has come up with a very good game plan on the day. Yeah, he practically said stick to the game, same game. We've been playing 22, 24 games. It's just been tough. Like, we knew East were going to be a hard outfit. We just stuck to our game plan and we come up with a point. Now, I'm sure you want to celebrate with your teammates, but you'll have to wait a little while, won't you, because you've got the second grade game coming up. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'd like to celebrate, but I've been backing up like practically all three grades all year. It's been great. I mean, I'd love to sit on the bench for Dykesy and celebrate. I'll do all that tonight. Yeah, good on you, mate. Congratulations and good luck in the next game. Thanks, mate.